Hey guys, welcome back to M6 Trains. Today I have a very exciting video for everybody. Today we are looking at this brand new scale steam engine I have just received. This is my second steam engine that is scale ever. Um, so we're going to be taking a quick look at it. I didn't have time to do a good review of it, unfortunately, but I did take some pictures. So we'll take a look at the details and then we'll run it around. Before I begin, I'd like to say... We are getting close to 100 subscribers, so I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been watching and joining so far, and uh, here's to 100, so I hope we can keep going, and please guys, I'd love to hear from you, leave some comments below, it's always nice to interact with you guys, but let's get started. Alright, so before I show you what engine I wound up getting, um, this was kind of an impulse buy, um, but... I ordered it and I was like, oh, am I going to want this for sure? I wasn't sure. So, and I kept looking back at the catalog. And I was like, do I really want this? But in the end, after opening it up, I am in love with this engine. This is probably one of my favorite engines I own now. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. So without further ado, let's see what she is. Hope you guys are ready. And here she is. This is Nickel Plate Road 765. This is a Berkshire locomotive, and she's absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a closer look and look at some of the details on this engine, because they are great. Starting at the front of the engine, looking down at the snow plow, you have a nice separately applied coupler, nice grab irons and handrails. Moving up toward the boiler, you have the headlight with the number boards. And then I opted for the model that has the Mars beacon light, which looks really awesome when it's operating and it's on you could get it like i said with or without it but i'm glad i got it with it because i think it looks a little bit better plus it's a little bit of an extra feature seeing another light blinking it's pretty cool you'll see it in operation shortly um you have some marker lights separately applied bell and more number boards up top they kind of look like they kind of remind me of shrek's ears um but they look really cool nonetheless um just a great looking front end Tons of detail. This thing looks great. Uh, totally awesome. Here's a side shot of the front of the engine. You could see that nose from the side view. As well as moving back a little bit, you could see more handrails that go back and the safety tread going up the walkway. You could also see the builder's plates back there. There are legible. And you could see the, the boiler, which is not the boiler, the cylinders down there which look good as well as the smokestack i love that little red valve that looks really cool it pops so yeah looks really good here we have a top view of the front of the engine like i said lots of detailing and now here we go panning back the side of the engine lots of separately applied and molded in details it looks really good and we'll start to the back of the engine now here you can see all the nice valve details and dynamos and other separately applied details. They look really nice, really makes this engine pop. Looks great. Here's a shot of the cab of the engine. Looks great. I really like those curtains they have going around. Uh, you can see the nice detailed back head. There are two crew figures in there. Looks really nice. Uh, the firebox does light up and there is an interior light that shuts off when the engine starts to move. Um, but let's take a look at the tender. Taking a look at the tender here, you can see a real co-load. Also, the molded and rivet details look great. There are some separately applied handrails. And taking a look at the back here, you can see the separately applied lights and reverse light. And the electrocoupler back there and the coupler cup bar. All these features look great. Tender looks great. It's a nice big tender. Um, I'm really loving the scale stuff, guys. I can't wait to get more scale steam engines because they look awesome. Now it's time for the moment we've all been rated for. Time to run this thing. Again, sorry I didn't get to do a, a more closer in-depth review. I just haven't had the time lately, so I'll hopefully you enjoy this kind of quick little look at this engine. But like I said, this engine really shines when it's running, and it's, I think it's time. So let's get this engine started up. Let's get it around the layout.
back on that water level, will you?